Hey, this is Chris at Highline Guitars, and you're watching another episode of From the Luthier's Workbench. In this episode, I'm going to be doing another update on my current CNC build. So if you're looking for guitar building information, um, I would suggest you go to my YouTube channel and just scroll through all the multitude of videos that I've done. In fact, I'm trying to do quick tip videos, uh, one a week. And I've put up five of them so far. The last one was about wire strippers, so go, go check that out you know, if you're not interested in my adventures in building a CNC machine. Uh, if you are interested, let's get started. So far at this point, um, not a whole lot has changed since my last episode from the Luthier's Workbench. I have managed to cut out all the end plates for the X, Y, and Z axis, motor mount, gantry sides, and those were cut from 18 millimeter thick um, 13 ply Baltic birch plywood. So uh, what I decided to do after I cut them out was to give them a coat of some oil-based paint in order to seal the wood and protect it you know, from any airborne moisture. Although that's usually not a major issue with Baltic birch. That's more of an issue uh, with MDF and I'm not using MDF so but I wanted to go ahead and get a coat of paint anyways, and I think it looks kind of cool anyway. So, uh, but what I'm waiting for now is a few more uh, bits and pieces and components to arise so that I can begin the assembly of the uh, mechanical structure. And what I'm waiting for specifically is a few more pieces of this T-slot aluminum extrusion. What I'm using is 30 series extrusions, and these are 30 millimeters wide and 60 millimeters tall. Uh, I'm getting these from a company called Mizumi, which uh, is a supplier I really like because when you choose your extrusions, you have a multitude of profiles that you can choose from. But you can also choose uh, different uh, levels of strength and rigidity. They have their standard, and then they have standard lightweight, and then this particular uh, profile is a heavy-duty rigid uh, extrusion and that's what I'm using for all the components. Uh, this is going to be for the uh, x-axis and I've already mounted my SBR linear rail to the uh, to the support. I have two of these for the x-axis. And then I'm waiting for uh, more extrusion which I will use to build the, the table, and the table will support my um, uh, y-axis rails. So that's still to come. And the reason I couldn't order it all at once is because I needed to get some of the parts shipped in so that I could measure them, and then I could go back to my 3D drawing that I did at full scale on my computer and make some tweaks to that drawing in order to determine the sizes of the other parts that were needed. So uh, that's typical when you're prototyping something is, you know, you kind of do it in stages. Um, that way you're not ordering in parts that might be too small or, or you know, whatever. But the other cool thing about using the Zumi for the extrusions is, is I can specify down to the half millimeter the exact length of the extrusions I need. So I was able to order all the extrusions at sizes that are final. I don't have to do any cutting, and that's kind of kind of a nice thing. Uh, Mizumi also sells all your uh, T-nuts, and I'm using these L bracket uh, adapt or, uh, connectors. However, I ended up purchasing these off eBay because Mizumi's was a little bit more expensive, and uh, I knew I could get stuff in bulk on eBay. And as it turns out, everything that I bought was shipped locally or within the United States, so I didn't have to wait for it to come overseas. Uh, my only concern was was going to be quality. You know, I'd heard that sometimes these things are not manufactured to a very high quality. But as it turns out, everything I got is perfect. So um, I'm ready once all the remaining components come in to begin final assembly. And what my plan is, once I've got all the parts in, is I'm going to take my video camera and mount it up high so that I can maybe shoot some 
uh, time lapse of me assembling this because I've already worked it out in my head and I, I believe I can get the mechanical structure assembled in just a couple of hours. So that might make for kind of a cool video to watch. What I still have yet to do is determine the exact size stepper motors and the type of uh, stepper drivers and cr uh, controller that I'm going to use. And I will. I do know that I'm going to use NEMA 23s. I just don't know what size yet. So I have to wait and, and figure out. Once I've uh, assembled the gantry, I can weigh the gantry. And based on the weight and the amount of force necessary to uh, drive the gantry on the um, acne bead screws, I can get a better idea of what size stepper motors I'm going to need. And when I say size, I'm talking about holding torque. And then I'm going to have to choose uh, the stepper drivers. And right now I'm kind of leaning towards either the Gecko G540 or uh, OMC Stepper Online offers a whole range of stepper drivers, stepper motors. They even offer uh, three and four axis kits. And the reason why I would look at their uh, products is because I know their drivers are made by Lead Shine which is a very high quality component. So um, I haven't completely decided which way I'm gonna go yet, but one thing I do know is I'm probably gonna get a UC100 adapter. That's a motion controller that you can connect to the DB25 connector on uh, the breakout board so that you can, uh, instead of using a parallel port type connection to the PC, which is you know what PC has a parallel port connector on it, um, what I can do is uh, connect it with a USB cable. So uh, that I'm probably going to do, and I'm probably going to use their proprietary UC CNC software to control the machine. But we'll we'll get to that down the road. Uh, right now, what I need to do is uh, I'm going to put another coat of paint on my uh, Y-axis end plates, and then once all the remaining components come in, I'll be able to start assembling, and hopefully. When I do my update next week, you'll see a finished machine, well, at least the mechanical structure finished on the table. No guarantees, it's all gonna depend on UPS and uh, the Postal Service and how quickly stuff gets shipped to me, so. Um, but that's kind of where this stands right now. And once I have the CNC machine done and up and running, I'll get back to uh, building more guitars. Uh, right now, what I did this past summer and into the fall was I, uh, I, I jammed on building guitars and I, I built like six of them in just a, like a two month span of time. And now I've put all those guitars up, to, uh, up for sale on my Reverb store. Um, in fact, I'll put a link in the description below so you can go check out what I have on Reverb. And the idea, usually it's, I've only got maybe two or three guitars for sale at a time, but this was, the idea was to try and get a bunch of them up there so I could take a break while I focused on uh, designing and building this machine. So uh, it's getting close and uh, I'm really excited. I can't wait to get this thing done. And, and if it all works out as I expect it will, uh, I hope to offer plans uh, that if you're interested in building something similar, you can uh, purchase those and then build your own machine. And uh, my, my goal with the, with the plans is to offer uh, a number of different options that you can uh, select from uh, to build a machine that would match your budget and that sort of thing. So I just got to figure out how I'm going to do the plans because really the only dimensioned part of the plan that I would have would be for all the uh, uh, end plates and gantry sides and the motor mount. Um, as far as uh, you know, the rest of these components, you're not actually making those, you're just assembling them. So I've got to figure out how I want to show that in a set of plans. Do I want to do a, a PDF file with photos or illustrations showing how all the components assemble? That's something I've got to figure out. So uh, just stay tuned and uh, hope you uh, enjoy watching this thing come together and, and we'll see how it runs. Hopefully when I turn it on, it doesn't like all fly apart. <laughs> Hopefully it runs nice and smooth. So, uh, But we will see you in the next episode. Have a great week.